yeah hello and welcome to um, my short tutorial on how to create a simple maze game using picto blocks so we'll be coding in python my name is richmond potifer from ghana yeah so first of all we have to bring in our sprites We'll be using the beetle. Okay. And then we'll also bring in our backdrop. So we are going to choose the maze backdrop. Good. And now we are ready to code. All right. So we have our beetle. And then we also have our backdrop so what we want to do is we want to make the beetle a little bit smaller so we are going to select the sprites and then we are going to set the size to 50 okay and then let's also change the direction so set direction we're going to set the direction to face upwards so that will be zero let's run this and see keep coding all right so now we also have to set the position we have to bring it to um start over here so with that we are going to set the um, sprite dot go to using the x and y axis we are going to set it i think we have an error somewhere we'll check soon negative 150 negative 150 okay what's our error set direction zero set size 50 the error says line 5 sprite dot okay let's run it again and see okay so now it's working so now we have our beetle down now what we do is um when we start the application so by clicking the green flag you can say well one which is start we have to check for um first of all we have to create the movement so we have to check for that so if um the user or yeah if the um user presses the up arrow for this sprite sorry sprite is key pressed so which key are we looking for the up arrow if the arrow key is pressed make sure you have this colon here what happens let's set sorry choose the sprite first sprite does set direction to zero and then we can move the sprite in that direction so we are going to use five steps for the movement so let's run it and see so if the app arrow is pressed all right what happens So realize that the sprite moves in the upward direction okay so let's quickly do that for the other movements we'll copy this come down paste and then this time around we are going to use the down so when it's the down key is pressed we are going to 
rotate 180 degrees to face down and then we still move and then also when the left arrow key is pressed we have to face the negative 90 degrees direction and move and then also when the right arrow key is pressed we have to face the 90 degrees okay so let's see if our code is working stop it and run it again make sure there's no error okay okay so our sprite comes down we can move it to the left sorry and then we can also move it to the left move it upwards and downwards so our movement is set okay now let's fix let's continue with our code let's try to put in the rules for our game so anytime we touch um this black color over here we should come back to our default position and then also anytime we touch the beetle touches the apple here with the red color then our game should be over we are done okay so let's try with that one as well so if um if sprites dot is touching so we are going to use this function now it's touching color i hope we are spelling things right what color the code for the black color is zero 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 rgb color and then let me show our function is uh, if block is well spelled, spelled out okay so what should happen we should go to so we can copy this code here go to this position and also we have to set the direction also to face upwards so we can bring this here first and the other one second so let's try it and see okay let's run the code Okay, no errors so let's try touching okay anytime we touch the black line it brings us back to our starting position touch again okay so this code here is also working now let's also write the code for when we touch um, the red color so i'll just copy this and make some changes to that so if the sprite is touching the color red with the color red um the first number here is changed to 255 okay and then we work on our indentation great sorry i think this issue come back a little like this rather okay all right so what should we do um after um touching the red color so sprite dot c game over so we should display game 
over for two seconds and then we have to break away from our if statement to end our code so let's try our code now and see if everything is working fine okay run all okay moving through the maze making sure we don't touch the walls almost there our beetle is moving very slow so you can increase the number for the move for the beetle to move a bit faster all right so our last code is also working and you can realize our code stopped by itself this time so this is just a simple demonstration or tutorial on how to create a simple maze game thank you for watching